Okay, KMR, Kyle Mohan Racing. Long awaited updates on the hybrid Renesis build. This is basically a copy of what we built at Mazda Tricks many years ago. That motor worked fantastic. If you check out some of our previous videos, you can see dyno charts and information about the build. But this is updates. Everybody's been waiting for it. I'm sorry. I've had customer projects, and uh, I've obviously been also uh, racing in Formula Drift with the Renewable Lubricants Mazda Trix KMR3 Rotor RX-8. I hope everybody's been enjoying those videos. I'm going to try to do a bunch more. I've got more footage than I know what to do with. Time flies by fast. But I have made some progress, and I wanted to talk about that progress and where we're going with this build. So as you can see here, I've got my rotating assembly. I've got the rear plate, uh, one of the rotor housings, GSLSE, because we've got those water O-ring grooves. We're running peripheral port exhaust with all of our six port Renesis intake and exhaust ports. And we went with a street port just to catch everybody up. So while I've been racing, while I've been working, I did manage to get the rotor side cut, the stationary gears, we face cut the gears to remove any stress risers. So you can see they've actually been slightly polished here. It doesn't have any of the factory gear marks. So that way we reduce the chance of any type of gear cracking. Um, and we went with new bearings. Gave these a quick polish, but uh, before any of this gets assembled, it's all going to get a massive double final cleaning wiped down with acetone and white rags. So this is still looking at it pre-cleaning. And... Uh, once we had the uh, rotor side cut and we had our race bearings in and, and a lot of this other stuff mocked up, it was time to get back to just some basics. We wanted to balance our rotating assem assembly and uh, Mazda Trix takes care of all of our high speed balancing, whether it's 13 Bs, whether it's three rotors, four rotors. We talked a little bit about balancing in the past and basically what we've done here is the rotors got matched. They are directional from the factory so don't confuse your front and rears. And once we had them matched, side cutted, um, we then wanted to balance them to the rotating assembly. And this was a factory rotating assembly. I got these two rotors, this shaft and this front counterweight all from the same motor and it's kind of interesting in the end, the balancing was way off. Now, I knew I had removed material from the faces of the rotors, as well as material from deepening the apex seal grooves to run a traditional RX-7 seal. But what I didn't expect was the balancer to need to add material to the front counterweight. That means there was a pretty big spread. You can see not only did they have to weld up some of the OEM holes, but uh, I was talking to Mazda Tricks, and there's actually an additional piece of Mallory, which is a heavy metal in here. And really, we only add Mallory or heavy metals when there's a big discrepancy between rotor weight and counterweight. It's surprising, but it really is something we did see at Mazda Tricks quite often, whether it was RX-7 motors or RX-8 motors, and it's really one of the reasons we recommend balancing on any rebuild, especially if it's a rebuild where you don't know the history of the motor, like the rotors and the rotating assembly. But here, in the case where we know we had a factory motor, it didn't have a lot of miles on it. We're pretty confident we had matching rotors, matching counterweight, but still, for a high-performance application build, we're pretty far off from what balanced would be. So the front counterweight itself ended up getting heavy metal and some holes welded up. The rear counterweight I pulled from an RX-7 because it was a manual transmission motor, being that it was a six-port motor. And this was a little bit luckier. I kind of knew it, obviously, using an RX-7 rear counterweight with RX-8 rotors. The rotors are going to be lighter. So... We were lucky. We didn't have to add any real material, but a lot of material was removed. Um, you know, basically, in the world of Mazda Tricks balancing, we're doing all the dirty work to the counterweights. I know some shops do a similar process to the rotors. I really feel like we can manipulate and change the counterweights many more times than you can the rotors. So we're matching the counterweights to the rotors just like you would throughout the motorsports industry so your rotating assembly is balanced 
Prior to that, we also matched the rotors to each other the best we could, and they were a matched factory set, as far as we know, from Mazda. So it's all very interesting. In the end, we've got our balancing done. We've got our new race bearings in the rotors. We're side cut. We've got our stationary gears prepared, kind of a little performance preparation. And we've got our porting work done and our lapped uh, six-port RX-8 Renesis housings. So our next steps really will be some final cleanup, like I mentioned. Everything gets super duper cleaned. We're going to set up our rotors and make our way to assembly. I know everybody's been waiting for that of the Renesis motor. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot more questions. If anybody has questions, it's been a little while since we talked about this build. So definitely this is a great place to put them. I'll do my best to answer. And we will be dropping more videos about this build.